I want to talk about the three most popular types of brand collabs. Now, obviously, this is going to vary widely depending on factors like your niche, your audience size, your engagement rates, the specific industry that you may be in. But for the most part, the three most popular types of brand collabs, at least in today's world, it's October 2023. Here is what they are. One is sponsored posts. So this is where you create content featuring the brand's product or service. And it most of the time includes either some kind of high quality video or image or other type of medium. Now, typically creators, you know, with some form of following, I have seen creators with 800 followers or more actually get paid to sponsor posts inside my course, Pitch It Perfect. I think we've even had a creator with as little as 300 followers get paid to create content. Now, the compensation here could be anywhere between like 100 bucks upwards to hundreds of thousands of dollars, but that is a really popular type of collab. Another popular type is affiliate partnerships, and that is where you are typically promoting a brand's product or service for free in order to earn commission on the back end through your affiliate link. There's typically no follower f- threshold for this one because, you know, the brands want you to put it out there. I will say though, accounts that focus more on consistently and are consistently sharing from an authentic place will find just more success with this. And then the third one is UGC, user-generated content. That is where you are creating content featuring the brand's product or service for them to share it on their platforms. And usually they will repost or highlight your UGC on their own channels. Now, again, there is no specific follower threshold for this. Anyone who is good at creating content can create UGC for brands and you can make a lot of really good money for actively creating and or giving them the rights to promote your UGC. So with those three types in mind, if you're wanting to go from gifted to paid, the first thing that anyone I think should do is I would ask for an affiliate link because that's going to, A, it's one of the most popular types of brand collabs. And you could say to this brand, hey, do you mind giving me an affiliate link? Because I want to share this with my audience and I want to show you how good I can sell this for you because that's how much I believe in my platform and in my engagement with my community. Like gift it to me this one time, that is fine. But then give me an affiliate link because I want to show you with actual data what I can do. Now, you as the creator, if you're afraid of doing that, I want you to ask yourself why. Because if you know that you're really good at creating content and that you're really good with your engaged community and making this happen, this is a no-brainer. The only thing that the brand's going to see is you doing really, really good with the data on the back end. And they're going to be like, okay, you've proven yourself to us. Now we are going to happily pay you, right? A lot of times brands, again, they need to see this ROI. And so if you're someone that it's like, well, I don't get a lot of clicks on my affiliate links, or I don't really sell a lot for brands when I have you know, affiliate links, then that is your sign that you need to really, again, go back to more of the foundations of building your own personal brand first and making that really viable to the brand. I share this in my program, Pitch It Perfect. If you are someone who has this challenge, I would highly recommend you getting inside the Pitch It Perfect program. I take you through my entire social media to success blueprint that is specifically designed for creators who want to monetize and work with brands. And it's very easily just five steps that you have to master. You first have to know what your brand values are. You have to craft your elevator pitch and make sure that that is unique and authentic to you. Then we have your content strategy and plan that you have to consistently put in place. And then, of course, you have the pitches that you must write to the brands if you're going to be pitching yourself through DMs or emails or whatever your preference is. Now, of course, if you're a student of Pitch It Perfect, I give you all of the pitches, over 50 to be exact, so you don't have to waste your time writing these from scratch. I give you over 50 pitches that you can use just to kind of copy and paste. And then, of course, the fifth fifth step that you have to master is the negotiation strategy to make sure that you know how to do what I just told you to do. Like, how do you actually say that to a brand if you're wanting to go from gifted to paid? How do you really set it up in a way? What should those data markers be? What are those things? And so that is what leads to brand deal success. That is what leads to you, no matter what type of brand collab you want, whether that's the sponsor post, the affiliate partnerships, or the UGC, or a mix of all three that I mentioned to you. Now, of course, there's a ton of other different types out there, but again, those are just the most popular ones. If you're wanting to start to consistently monetize using any of those three or all of those three, you have to have those five steps, essentially, that I just said to you. Brand values, elevator pitch, content strategy and plan, writing pitches or having them written for you so you can send them out, and the negotiation strategy to really see strong, consistent monetization when it comes to partnering with brands. 